Okay, Chuck and Johnny, this is a video of your your uh, electrical instrumentation harness for your QSM11. Just want to take a little video and let you know how we got it all set up. And uh, it hasn't been harnessed yet, but all the wires have been ran for one harness, and everything's ready to go. We got a key switch on the end. I'm just going to go over everything and show you how it's kind of set up and let you know. So here's our power supply. We're going to get 12 volts. Coming into the uh, to the key switch here, and the key switch is what's used to power on the brain, which is uh, this whole module here. I'm used to I'm sure you're used to seeing. So we'll go ahead and turn on the key switch here, and we'll put power to the brain and power to the display. Here's our display. You can see it just powered up. going through its tests to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Okay, so the system came up fine. We showed zero RPM, so system okay. All of our ambient uh, temperatures and everything are being displayed on this on the display. Here's our throttle pot here. You can see this is our lever actuator for throttle. That links into the harness that we're making for you and connects right here. Okay, and if you notice on the display, I'm going to go ahead and move this lever. On the display here, you'll see that we're starting to get throttle input. Okay, and right now you can see here we're at 100%. We'll let this start going down. You'll see that the throttle is going down here. Okay, it's a pretty simple uh, approach. Here's the 50 pin connector that we have in the OEM port on the ECM. Everything's already set in there. We have the coolant sensor and some water so that it doesn't alarm. You'll notice that if I take this out, kind of dry it off for a second, we should get an alarm on our display that we don't have any coolant left. Here's our power leads that come into the engine ECM here. Right now I just have them hooked up to the power supply, but you'll need to run those and put fused uh, fuses on there. You can see here our display is telling us that we have an alarm. We'll look at the alarm here and show that we have uh, a low coolant. So the computer is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, we'll go ahead and quiet that down for now. And then we'll put this guy back in water here so that we can get the alarm to go away. Takes a little bit for the alarm to clear. This is your key switch here. Has everything you need to uh, wake up the brain and to uh, provide power to crank the engine over. You can see here this yellow and red lead is going to be your crank signal. Okay, it looks like our alarm just cleared. Everything's good. And the crank signal is going to end all the way back up here at the ECM. I'm just going to put it on one end of a magnetic switch that we're going to send for you that goes on the starter that will actually engage the starter and crank the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and make up one more harness and get everything uh, loomed and taped up really well. And we'll get it out to you. Thanks.